Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Warning. Spoilers ahead for the Umbrella Academy's finale in Season 4. One of the biggest mysteries that's surrounded the Umbrella Academy ever since it began five years ago has been what happened to Ben Hargreaves, Justin H. Min, when he died. At the very beginning of the Netflix series, it was revealed that Ben, also known as the Horror and Number 6, died during a mission as a teenager, which was referred to as the Jennifer Incident. Ben appeared in the first two seasons of the show in ghost form, during which he could predominantly only be seen by his brother Klaus, Robert Sheehan. Then at the end of season two, an alternate version of Ben was introduced in a parallel universe, one who didn't die and who was raised by Sir Reginald Hargreaves, Colm Fury, in the Sparrow Academy, instead of the Umbrella Academy. Now that this more agitated version of Ben is around, the Hargreaves siblings are able to learn more about what exactly happened when Ben died, and what actually happened during the Jennifer incident. Not only that, but audiences actually get to meet Jennifer, Victoria Saul, in the flesh. So how exactly did Ben die? What happened to the alternate version of Ben in the final season and what does the ending of the entire series mean? We have you covered. It was previously assumed due to the name of the mission where the original Ben died that he perished while trying to save a girl named Jennifer. However, it's revealed in the fourth season that the other Hargreaves siblings had their memories wiped and so didn't actually remember what happened, other than that it was a tragic accident and that we failed as a team. To view this video please enable JavaScript, and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video. During the mission in question, Sir Reginald orders the children to recover a deadly weapon that's inside a container, but Ben discovers there's a girl called Jennifer inside and helps her out. Sir Reginald then shoots them both dead, and viewers later discover that's because the pair of them making contact could result in the world coming to an end. In the present day, the alternate Sir Reginald restores the siblings' memories so that they can remember what happened. It's revealed that within Jennifer there's an element called Durango, while within the Hargreaves siblings there's an element called Marigold, two opposites, which when combined can cause an apocalyptic level event called the Cleanse. As Jennifer and Ben are drawn to one another in this reset universe, this therefore puts the world as they know it at risk. As the fourth season of the Umbrella Academy neared its end, it was clear that Jennifer and Ben being drawn to one another was inevitable, but destructive. Both of them start transforming physically, developing growths on their bodies and eventually merging, and continuing to get bigger, to become the cleanse monster. At first, the Hargreaves siblings try to fight the monster to prevent it from destroying the universe. However, they then realize that the cleanse has to happen. In order to condense all of the different timelines into one and to save the lives of their loved ones, they need to cease to exist completely, as the marigold that exists inside them needs to be eradicated. So, the cleanse monster consumes them, the siblings disappear, and then the world is restored to one of peace, where several recognizable characters from throughout all four seasons are seen mingling during a utopian park scene. After the fate of the Hargreaves siblings is revealed, that they are gone for good and that no one in the world remembers who they are, a post credit scene for the finale drops a major tease. The camera zooms in on some flowers in that are growing, before they bloom into eight marigolds. Some fans might take this to mean that there could be a new Umbrella Academy or something similar in future, perhaps setting off a chain of events similar to what has already transpired. When asked if the flowers could represent the Brellies, the TV series creator Steve Blackman said, not necessarily. Fans are sobbing as Netflix's most bizarre TV series ends after five years. Jenna Ortega admits she got sick of herself amid Wild Wednesday backlash. The Umbrella Academy was best at the beginning and its final season proves it. Netflix's perfect new number.